Yeah? Yeah. Okay, my number three is so far away from superb, it is not funny. Uh, oh my number three is Orc Attack Flatulent Rebellion on the Xbox oh 360. Dear. Why is it your number three? I spoke about it last week. I played the trial. Uh, someone contacted me and said, do you want to review it? And I was like, hey, you know what? Why not? I'm glutton for punishment. Why not? Um... Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try not to repeat what I said last week. It's uh, it's one of the most uninspired games of all time. I don't know why it exists. I don't know what its designers were thinking. I don't know whether they stuck a load of ideas in a pot about what they thought might sell. I mean, it, it just has... It's disjointed and it's bereft of any kind of care or attention or, or passion or anything. I mean, it's just... It's awful. You play... The, it's one of these... It's a four-player co-op, primarily local, but you can do it online as well. These four uh, orcs, uh, Sir Nif, Lord Pooh, Doc Turd, Friar Crap. Friar <laughs> Crap. And you basically run around a series of narrow and very poorly animated wor worlds, pressing two buttons, uh, a light attack and a hard attack. The hard attack is the guard, the guard break. And then you can belch and fart after building up your gas meter, which you do uh, by having... By, by just by engaging in combat. With those moves, the belching and the farting, it's impossible to gauge attack range and the duration is just, it varies wildly. There's just, it, it, the game feels, if not broken, well, br broken implies that it doesn't work. It's just, I, it's, I, 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 I'm, I'm speechless. It, as I said last week, it looks and plays like a Nintendo 64 game, more so than any game since the Nintendo 64. It's so poorly made, and not to say that Nintendo 64 games are poorly made, I mean, it looks like a Nintendo 64, but there was a, there was a surplus of four-player sort of games of this, sort of, of this kind. I've played enough of them. One thing I said last week is that they were very clever about the fact that they locked everything off. So if you were looking at the trial and you looked at what the leaderboards were doing to see if people were playing it, you had to buy the full version. Now I have the full version, I checked the leaderboards and I saw that there was over 5,000 people on the leaderboards and my jaw dropped. I thought, there's 5,000 people that want to play this game. Foul, mm. foul play, a passable and at times pretty good Xbox Live Arcade game I spoke about a few weeks ago that's fairly new, had barely 300. Yeah. This had 5,000 plus. So I just I just thought, I, I, I don't, I'm out of touch, I don't understand why people are playing this, but I found out that they've been equally crafty because you can play the game for a second in the trial and you make the leaderboards. Oh, uh, right. So it looks like all these people are playing it when they're not. Um, I didn't investigate further. I'd like to see, you know, if I'd have looked further up, I would have sort of probably been able to ascertain that there was two people playing it in the world and they might have been the guys that made it. I don't know. I also spoke about something last week is that there's a there's an evasive manoeuvre where you press the right bumper and for some reason... Throughout the whole of the trial, it kept coming up with this message. Take a break between RB, dot, dot, dot. Use RB to roll. I still don't know what that means. And that message still comes up every single time Jesus. you press the evasive manoeuvre. There's performance issues like you've never seen. Uh, the frame rate, I said, was bad in the cutscenes. Believe me, the frame rate is bad in all of the game. There's slowdown that you've not seen this generation. I guarantee it. It's unreal. Uh, sometimes, as again, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself, but the camera locks so you occasionally can't see where you're going. It will just lock and you can't move it, and then sometimes you can move it, and then sometimes you can't. It just seems to be completely uh, at random. Um, there's a bit, uh, an escort mission where you protect a, an NPC, and I failed it not once, not twice, but three times because he blindly walked into the water and drowned himself, sending me back to the beginning of the level, which was an absolute joy. Um, oh, top boy. The other thing is that, uh, that seemingly, oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, seemingly to give it some kind of point of difference, rather than use a button, if you have to do something like open a drawbridge or replenish your health by standing next to a rune, you have to take one of the thumbsticks in your hand and you know you wallop the thumbstick, like mm. batter it, you know, left to right so fast. And I just thought, after I did that a few times, I just thought, I'll, I'll plug my connected and show you me destroying one of my own pads. It's like a ploy. It, honestly, I would, the, the amount of times it happens, I'm just like, are you trying to get me to destroy one of my pads? <laughs> um, it's like they can't be, you know, their legacy will never be computer games, so maybe their legacy will be the senseless destruction of innocent people's video game peripherals. But anyway, after, after that started to annoy me, a new enemy turned up and he jumps on your back. And the only way to get him off is to waggle the shit out of your... Con I mean, yeah, so that was a little bit, uh, a little bit annoying. Um, but also, partially, if you've paid money for this game, you kind of deserve a little bit of collateral damage. It's your own fault. Um, 
sometimes in, in all in games in general in all games almost there are pointers and tips in the loading screens between levels um, that's just that, that i mean almost yeah. every game has that this one has one and it says if you're finding the game difficult dot 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 and i thought oh well you know turn the you know knock it down mm. to easy no it says if you're finding this game difficult why not just get your friends to buy the game and you can do it on co-op i was like yeah Ugh. nice really nice <sighs> it's you could it could be classed as entertainment only in the same way that you could say that shit could be a food stuff. It is oh un, I mean, it's one of the worst games I've ever played, and it is every bit as depressing and mundane as that makes it sound. It's awful, awful. Un, I mean, just I, I, I'm upset with myself for playing it. I mean, it's a one out of ten game. Wow. Only because I don't think I can give it an out of ten for who I'm writing it for. But Orchidac Flatulent Rebellion. I don't. Uh, most offensive about it is that it wasn't. Uh, I, uh, so it's going to be all right. It's all going to be all right. I doubt it. 